Mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Shahra Tahiri. I'm Professor of Medicine at Wakuna Medicine. I'm also a diabetologist who takes care of patients with diabetes. Diabetes is a major problem worldwide, but it's particularly a problem in Qatar. In Qatar, one in five people are affected with diabetes and are particularly affected at a very young age. Also, we need to consider in Qatar that about one in five people are at risk of pre-diabetes, that means they're at risk of becoming diabetic later on. A major driver for this issue of diabetes is obesity. About 40% of people in Qatar have problems with obesity. When obesity develops, this results in type 2 diabetes, and type 2 diabetes in Qatar is occurring at a very young age. The complications of diabetes are fairly complex, but many people will suffer from heart disease, stroke, but also problems with kidneys, so people will need dialysis, and that can be incredibly expensive. Also, the nerves may be affected in diabetes, so people may end up having amputations because they don't feel sensation in their legs, for example, and they may step on things, develop ulcers and wounds. Uh, they may have problems with their eyes. Diabetes is one of the major causes of blindness worldwide. Well, the reason obesity and diabetes has occurred so quickly in Qatar is because the economy has changed, so the social environment has changed. What we call this is a nutrition transition, where people are transitioning between the old traditional types of foods, as well as adding the more Western type of foods. Whenever this occurs, whatever country it is, there's excess obesity occurring. Our main approach in terms of tackling diabetes would be to look at obesity. Obesity occurs due to excess intake of calories, eating more and eating the wrong kinds of foods. So what we need to do is we need to say, look, we need to stop here, go back and educate individuals and the public to improve the situation, educate them about what they need to eat, how much they need to eat, look at portion sizes, food selection. We need to think about how we plan our towns. There's a lot of construction happening in Qatar, so we must make sure that every time somebody builds a building, there's a place for people to walk, to undertake physical activity, even though there are harsher weather environments here. And most places that have succeeded in tackling obesity have worked together as a network, so the whole society is working towards solving this problem, right from urban planning to schools, to the mayor, to uh, the local government, to the national government. My motto in life is not a motto as such, it's more asking a question of yourself, is who do you want to be? Do you want to be a healthy, vibrant, successful person? In that case, you need to put the effort in to succeed with that. So you need to have those goals in mind in terms of your health, which means that always keep your health first.